friends today i am going to teach you that how wavelength changes when the light travel from one medium to another first we will look at the plan constant which is given here it was discovered by the scientist max planck he has given the theory that the energy travel only in small discrete packet called quanta this is quanta and the energy carried by it can be determined by e is equal to h nu where nu is equal to frequency and h is equal to planck constant let's take an example that certain amount of energy is increased is as the energy is increased so either planck constant on frequency should change and we know that the planck constant is a constant so it does not change so the frequency must change in order to balance the change of energy so we can write that e is directly proportional to f if the energy increases the frequency also increases and if the energy decreases frequency also decreases now if light moves from one medium to another its speed changes as we know if light moves from this air to glass then speed s One is always greater than S two. S one is always greater than S two. Speed of light. So, uh, speed of light always. We we'll all know that there is equation C is equal to lambda f, where C is equal to speed of light, lambda is equal to wavelength, and f is equal to frequency. So, if the C is changing, that is speed of light is changing, then either lambda or the frequency should change. And and as we know that uh, if frequency changes, energy should also change as they are is directly proportional. So, if the frequency changes, energy would also change, which would break the break the laws of conservation of energy. So, frequency cannot change. so in order to balance the equation if frequency is not changing and speed of light changing so wavelength must change so wavelength must change and, and so if uh, light moves from one medium to another its wavelength always changes but its frequency never 